right, this is the one week checkup on the red worm migration bin. Um, let's see, so here we have the food burrito, and here we have the food, uh, the bait cup. Let me get out the food burrito first, see if there's anything inside the burrito. Some worms here. I'll just put them over there. Save some time. Looks like they're around the burrito. Oh, looks like the burrito broke open. <sighs> well, that doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, looked like I needed a bigger burrito, paper-wise. But it, I'm surprised that they went through that so quickly. Let's check it out. <clears throat> That's the newspaper. Still some worms. Can't say that there's a lot of worms, but let's check the bait cup. I see some worms around the cup, on the bottom of the cup. There's no hole on the bottom of, of the cup. It's just around. So I don't know if you can see, but there's worms trying to get in and out oh, worms trying to get in and out mostly in now since I pulled the cup let's see Yep, there's worms. And as you notice, I didn't put in food that they especially love, which is like um, fruits specifically fruits. But they do like the food nonetheless. Let me get all of these off my glove. See if there's any more in here, which there are. So for my liking and the amount of worms that stay within the type of bait, whether bait device, whether it's a cup or newspaper or, you know, the food burrito, I prefer the cup. So I think I am going to go ahead and bait this cup again. I'm going to, I'll do it off camera and then um, I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put two cups since there's so many worms left in here. I just want to get them out. See, and this is just a small amount of worms that were in the bait cup.
There's more. Oh, look at that teeny, teeny, teeny baby. Okay, so I'm going to make this video very short today. I won't show me baiting the cups and getting that all ready. I think this series, you've seen enough of that. You see me go, go through the, um, the bins, checking up on the worms. So I will do this off camera and make this video very short. If you want to know more information, you can watch the previous videos in the series to see what I've done. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.